I never expect to hear that from you again. She said he's a <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Okay, in just hours, voters will be hitting the polls in the New Hampshire primary, and Donald Trump is once again using the shock factor. He repeated a vulgar word describing female anatomy after a supporter shouted out in reference to Ted Cruz. And the Granite State might be about to make Jeb Bush the comeback kid. New polling shows Marco Rubio's loss of support there could be Jeb's gain. CBS4's David Sutta is in New Hampshire, and he joins us now live with more on the last-minute push for votes. David. Yeah, it started snowing today about 1130 and it still hasn't stopped, but that did not slow down the candidates as they hit the campaign trail for the final day here in New Hampshire. We're coming to you live tonight outside of Bicentennial Elementary where there'll be no school tomorrow, not because of the snow, but because people will be casting votes. The hope is that the snow goes away and that people actually get to the polls. It might be snowing, but Senator Marco Rubio is fired up. Hillary Clinton does not want to run against me. I can't wait to run against her. Roughly 500 supporters attending the final rally inside Nashua Community College Monday night, hours before New Hampshire heads to the polls. The rally was interrupted by protesters once again challenging Rubio's experience. It's a theme that has haunted him since his debate here Saturday night, when New Jersey Governor Chris Christie called him out for regurgitating canned messages. And it happened again Monday night. And we know how hard it's become to instill our values in our kids instead of the values that try to ram down our throats. In the 21st century, it's become harder than ever to instill in your children the values they teach in our homes and in our church instead of the values that they try to ram down our throats in the movies, in music, in popular culture. This young man is proud to be an American, and he's young and he's energetic, and that's what we need in politics. Rubio is fighting for second place in New Hampshire. Polls show Donald Trump as the front runner, ahead two to one. Governor Jeb Bush, who spent more than 50 days campaigning here, is hoping to prove the naysayers wrong. Donald Trump organizes his campaign around disparaging people as a sign of strength. While Bush attacked Trump at his final events, his super PAC slammed the airwaves with anti-Rubio ads. Marco Rubio simply isn't ready. The ads may be more money wasted. What works in Florida may not work in New Hampshire. In Florida, it's not the retail politics like it is here in New Hampshire. Here in New Hampshire, you can meet people face to face, shake their hand and, and ask them a question close up.